Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set the cam timing on our 2012 Polaris Razor 900 XP. Pretty simple procedure, only need a couple of tools plus one special tool from Polaris. So let me go grab those and I'll show you how to get it done. Alright guys, let's go over the tools you're going to need to do this. Just need an 8mm socket, a 27mm socket, a decent ratchet, good torque wrench, and most importantly, the special tool from Polaris. Remember, you do need to give us a call to order this. So, once you've got all that assembled, we can get it done. Alright, next, let's get this plate I was talking about earlier installed. On the exhaust side, it'll just slide in. On the intake, you're going to have to use a wrench bring it up just slightly and that's going to be where they need to stay while we set the timing on this thing. All right we want to start with the intake gear first. The difference is one has an E and one has an I stamped on it so it didn't matter if you didn't keep up with which one was which but what we want to end up happening is we want the intakes to be sitting in there like that when the chain's on. So let's grab our chain where we think it's going to be and verify that you're at top dead center down here. And what we want to go ahead and do is get that top bolt in. All right, with that one in place, let's go ahead and grab that exhaust gear. All right, that was a little bit off. Let's move it over one tooth. All right, we've verified our marks. What I want to do now is go ahead and torque these down to 14 foot-pounds. Alright, we can go ahead and remove this plate. We can get those other two bolts in place. Alright, next let's go ahead and get our camshaft carrier in place. A little assembly lube on here as well. We have to knock them around a little bit to get them to line up. All right, don't forget your uh, upper cam chain guide. And remember, we need to just tighten all of these, and of course, there's a sequence. All right, all of these are going to be 89 inch pounds. And it goes something like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 11, 12 up here. So let's get these things torqued down. All right, with all of those torqued down, let's go ahead and get our uh, our cam chain tensioner back in place. Make sure that little crush washer is still there. All right, so 27 millimeter, and she takes 29.5 foot pounds. That's it. Alright guys, well we got you set up and ready to go. Listen, if you need this special tool, it's actually a special order item, so give us a call at partzilla.com and we can get it ordered for you. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.